In this video, learn how to connect your MetaMask wallet to the Binance Smart Chain so you can hold a range of BET20 tokens within MetaMask. Once we have MetaMask and Binance Smart Chain linked up, we can go ahead and use all the services that are on Binance Smart Chain, like Bakery Swap, Pancake Swap, Venus, and everything else easily using MetaMask. You can check the video timestamps in the description to navigate this guide easily. And I assume you have MetaMask already, but if you don't, I'll link that video in the description for you. Let's get right into adding Binance Smart Chain onto MetaMask then. And you can use Binance Smart Chain to interact with a load of decentralized applications that are built on the Smart Chain. A really important website that you might want to go to and reference is academy.binance.com and then this article about connecting MetaMask to the Binance Smart Chain. I will link this in the description for you. So if you have any issues, you can go through and read this if you need any more help with the setup. We're gonna go through everything now. So firstly, you wanna to go to metamask.io. Now I'm assuming that you have MetaMask set up already. If you don't have MetaMask set up and you're brand new to MetaMask, I've also got a video on how to set up MetaMask from scratch. I'll also link that in the description. But what we want to do is open up our MetaMask. So I'm assuming that you have it. You can go to your extensions, just go to MetaMask right there, and then you can open up the mini window. Now you can go through to the three dots on the right hand of the screen right here, and just go to expanded view. And that's just going to give you an easier way to do this. So this is the expanded view. And then we want to go ahead and actually set up Binance Smart Chain. A couple of really important things to note before we start setting things up. Firstly, you do not need to create a brand new MetaMask wallet to configure Binance Smart Chain. You can actually go ahead and do that if you want. You can set up new accounts and new wallets. You can go through and actually create a brand new account within your wallet. So instead of having a separate wallet, you might want to actually differentiate one of your wallets, maybe an Ethereum wallet from a Binance Smart Chain wallet. You can then go and name that wallet and that will be created within a second for you. Then you can go ahead and link that one up to Binance Smart Chain. It's not absolutely necessary and you can add Binance Smart Chain functionality to the same wallet that you hold some Ethereum tokens in. So I'm just going to click on James's wallet right here. And as you can see, I've got a couple of ERC20 tokens in the Ethereum wallet right now. Another very important thing to note is that you might want to use MetaMask as a proxy for a hardware wallet. So instead of storing large amounts of Binance Smart Chain tokens within MetaMask, a lot of people actually store them in hardware wallets like Trezor hardware wallets, and then use MetaMask as the proxy to interact with dApps on the Binance Smart Chain. If you haven't got a hardware wallet yet, I'll link Trezor in the description. Trezor are my go-to hardware wallets. You can go through and see if the tokens that you want to hold are supported on those hardware wallets. Let's add Binance Smart Chain now. So we just click this icon in the top right hand corner and then you wanna come down to your settings right here. So click on settings. Then we can come over to networks on the left hand side. So we'll click on networks and then we can add the information. Once you're in networks, you can see all of the networks that are supported within your current MetaMask wallet right here. So Ethereum mainnet would be the main one. We're gonna to come to add network. Then you can see this changes and now we can edit some network name and other parameters. If you go back to Binance Academy, you can see that the article gives you all the information that you need. So firstly, it tells us that the network name should be Smart Chain. It doesn't absolutely have to be, but I'm just going to put that in for being correct. So you can put Smart Chain in here. Then you need the new RPC URL and you can come back and see that here. So we can just literally copy and paste this in just so we don't make any mistakes. So we'll copy that right in here. And then Chain ID, we can have a look. Chain ID is 56. So we'll put 56 in here. The currency symbol is optional, but you can see they recommend BNB. So when you get assets in your account, they're gonna be valued like this. So I'll put BNB like that. And then the block explorer, again, it's optional. I'll just put it in because why not? Just to be complete and make sure that we get everything done correctly. So that's literally it. Just copy and paste it in here, and then you can go ahead and click on save. You will see on the left-hand side that Smart Chain has been added as an option into the current supported networks in your MetaMask. That's done now, so I'm just gonna click on the logo to go back to the homepage, and you'll see straight away that James's wallet has now changed in a couple of different ways. Firstly, instead of having Ethereum right here or ETH as the asset that we get values in, it's now changed to BNB, and the other obviously main difference is that the Ethereum icon has now disappeared, and we have the Binance Smart Chain icon. So we can be pretty sure now that we did the right thing and that there were no mistakes in what we copied and pasted over because the MetaMask is telling us that it's got obviously a data feed to give us those icons. 
One other thing that's very important to note is that if you do have Ethereum-based tokens in your MetaMask, then you won't see them here. So like you can see, I had Ethereum and Aave tokens and that is completely gone now. So if we go up to the networks and then we go back to Ethereum mainnet, you'll see we switch back, we get the Ethereum icon and then we can see those added here and then we switch back to the smart chain down here and it will switch for us. Now we can go ahead and try and send some Binance coin into our MetaMask wallet to make sure 100% that it works. So I'm assuming that you have Binance coin either in Trust Wallet or maybe you have a Binance account. So I have a Binance trading account, as you can see here, Binance, and I've got Binance coin ready to withdraw. Now what you have to do is go back to your MetaMask and then you can click this right here and this is automatically gonna copy it to your clipboard. This is your wallet address. If you're using the same wallet as your Ethereum, it should be the same wallet address, but now it does support Binance Coin. So click this to copy, go back to the withdrawal page on Binance, make sure that you have BNB selected right here, and then go to recipients BNB address, and you want that there. So that is now copied. You can add it as a whitelist if you want, so you don't have to remember it next time. Then the transfer network is super important. We do not want to use this one, which is a BNB and Binance chain. It sounds very similar to Binance Smart Chain, but it's not the same. You can see BEP2 tokens. We cannot use that blockchain. We need to use this one, Binance Smart Chain BSC, and then BEP20. So we click on that one. A safety reminder will come up for you. So the first one, have you confirmed that the platform supports Binance Smart Chain? Yes, I have confirmed. Also, it confirms that if you haven't set up Binance Smart Chain correctly, you'll see that you will lose your coins. So it's really important that we set it up correctly because if it isn't, then we will lose this transaction. You have to go and click this one. If the destination platform does not support BSC, your assets will be likely lost. That is the correct answer, so we can go through. And are you familiar with Binance Smart Chain? Click yes, Binance Smart Chain supports deposits and withdrawals of BEP20 tokens. So we can click submit, and then you can see I passed those questions, so I understand. I'm gonna go through and send 0.05 of a BNB. You'll see the transaction fee and what the receiver will get. Click on submit, and then you might have to go and confirm the transaction through your email address and also your two-factor authentication if you have it. You can see that that withdrawal request has been submitted. So you can go over to your MetaMask. Should take a couple of minutes to go through if everything has been done okay. And there you can see it has landed in my MetaMask wallet. So now we have that transaction minus the fees showing up as BNB coin in our MetaMask. And then we can switch back to the Ethereum mainnet and you can see you don't have any of those assets in your Ethereum mainnet account. Go back to Smart Chain and there are those BNB coins for you. What you can do super quick then is go onto a service like PancakeSwap, which is a Binance Smart Chain DEX and swap protocol. You can very quickly just go up to Connect Wallet right here, click on your MetaMask, really simple. It's gonna come up with that. Then you can just go through and click Next to connect it. Then hit Connect at the bottom. It will connect your MetaMask up and you can go through and use all of the liquidity pools and other trading services on PancakeSwap, Venus, and all of the other Binance Smart Chain uh, ecosystem dApps. You can see them all here. So you have uh, exchanges like PancakeSwap, One Inch Exchange as well, BurgerSwap, DeFi protocols, as you can see down here, lending protocols like Venus as well. So there are a lot of ecosystem dApps on Binance Smart Chain, and you can use these with MetaMask right now. If you want $40 of free Bitcoin, you can sign up for Celsius Wallet using my code in description. Download the app and get $40 of free Bitcoin when you sign up. And then you can start earning passive income on your cryptos. Subscribe if you want daily helpful crypto content. And I'll see you in the next one.